How are you doing? Come on in, come on in. So welcome to the doghouse. And there's a reason for it being the doghouse, but if you're an OG of the channel, you'll recognise this dog. Well, you won't recognise this dog. He's called Winston. And if you're an OG of the channel, you'll know why he's called Winston. But all day, we'll go show you the rest of the crib. So let's go start with the kitchen. Now, this kitchen has not really been used, but hey, so this is the kitchen space. It's pretty fucking big. Honestly, we have done nothing in this kitchen since we've been here. Everything's still so untouched. We've got a fridge that is completely empty. Put some fruit in there. We do have one thing though for when visitors come over, which is vodka, which is realistically the only thing we need in this house because food over here is so cheap like you can literally eat out for every single fucking meal it's pretty much fucking amazing also we have the water machine here because the water in Bali if you drink it to the tap you'll be fucked up like you get something called Bali Belly which basically gives you the runs and sickness which is horrendous but something we have yet to use in here, you can actually get people to come to your house and cook for you, which could be a cool experience, which we probably should go try out. Next up, we have the kind of living area. So, we have a little couch there, which is extremely comfortable. It's actually pretty fucking awesome, to be honest, it's pretty fucking bouncy, which is not too bad. Then we have number two, of course, TV, fire stick, Fully loaded, obviously. Then we have here, the dining area. Now, this is where all the real work actually gets done. As you see the laptops in here, I mean, they look very, very fucking official. Now, one of my favorite things in the villa, which is extremely pointless, but also pretty fucking amazing, is we have the Easter Highland head. So, what we'll do now is we'll show you all the bedrooms. Um, let's go start with the spare bedroom that basically gets used for reasons that cannot be disclosed on camera. So with this room, basically all we do is leave it empty, leave the bed nice and fresh, and leave the aircon on full blast. But let's go in, let's go in. So as you can see, the bed is untouched. So obviously we have a storage space. That one's pretty much empty. We have a nice selfie mirror in here. If you can see me, if you follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen some selfies in there. The bed is absolutely huge. Well, I'll go for the jump. I'm a big ass motherfucker, and this is a big ass bed. Then we have the toilet. The toilet's pretty nice, to be honest. There is one problem though. The mirror is too low for me to see my face in it. So if I'm going to ever do my hair, and to be squatting down pretty fucking low. This is probably one of the smaller showers. In, the, in fact, this is the smaller shower in the, the full kind of gaff. Next, we have. My bedroom, so let's go check that out right now. It's safe to come in, come in. The maids have cleaned it, so we're all fucking good. So I'm going in here. So, again, we have another mirror collection. I like to make sure my doors are always shut because the aircon needs to be freezing in here and I do not want any flies. We have a nice, nice little view of nature on the outside, which is very fucking tranquil. Makes me feel at peace with myself. Another mirror for me to pose in, which is not exactly what I'm doing right now. Have my bed and also another big motherfucker. <sighs> but one of the cool things about here is if you look up to the ceiling, the ceiling's pretty fucking high and pretty fucking naughty looking. Gives it that Asian vibe. I have a lot of lights that swing and I definitely don't bang my head in these all the fucking time. And then we have my bedroom in here. Eh, my bedroom, my bathroom. So, four things first, we have a nice tall mirror but I can actually see my fucking face which is great but I do need to stand pretty far back. This is where I keep all my clothes, I'm not going to with that. And the shower is a little bit bigger in here as well. Fantastic shower, love that very very much. So now, that's my bedroom. Now we potentially have the coolest bedroom in the gaff. My good mate Dylan did win this bedroom fell and square, we flipped the coin and he got it. So he's a lucky boy, but no, it is what it is. The upstairs bedroom has two amazing features that I fucking love. Number one, the fact that the room's higher up just makes it instantly cool, I must admit. Just watch your head when you're coming up here. I've banged my head off that a couple of times. We have some amazing wall art that gives the room 
lots of camp shop and distinguished this. Let's go in the challenge room. So, this is DC's room. He did win it fair and square. His books, let's see what he's reading right now. Laws of power. It's a dangerous man, you should be careful. Now, his, his bathroom is pretty fucking awesome. Go see this. And of course, we have our storage space. I'm not going to go through and show you dirty boxes or anything like that. And then we have this the double sink. Now, to be honest, me and him need to utilise this and probably have a shave or brush our teeth together or something, but it's not quite happened yet. Um, maybe we'll do it with some guests that's maybe stayed with Roman or whatever it may be. So, aye, that's that. He's got a bath, the lucky motherfucker. I don't think it's been used yet. To be honest, it probably won't ever get used. Then we have the shower. Decent sized shower. I would say it's probably, probably the second biggest shower that you have. I've got to take a clean for the biggest shower. I need to get something better. It's got some lovely plants. Make it feel nice. Make the place feel nice. And then his toilet kind of has this like little built wall round about it. Now, I don't know what the reason is for the wall because realistically, if this wall was to hide you if you shit into them, Probably see it and smell it. But anyway, that's his room. Now, the other great feature of this room. I don't think you're ready for this. This is where it's all about. We have our lovely trees, planted in myself, of course. Now, something I do like is the way the roofs look, it gives it that oriental feel. We've got some stuff in there that I can't quite show you, some beautiful wildlife, and then when the sun is setting, you also see a nice pink sky. And now, we've got the, the crown jewel, the gaff, the pool. Let's go check the pool. I'll show you where my dogs are at. Now we have the fucking pool. Look at this bad boy. Decent size, right? No too crazy. We have a shallow end and we have a deep end, right? But we've got my two other fucking dogs. I've got you to think of names for them. So what to do is, if you just can think of two good names for my dogs, or two twins, I'm gonna say they're Dobermans or something like that. They're so fucking bad motherfuckers anyway. But yeah, we have this part of the pool, which is the deep end. Do I dare flip? Do something. So after you cover the pool and maybe you want to get the clothing off your body, I'm going to go show you the outdoor shower, ballet style. This is like a classic ballet number. I don't even think I've actually ever used it before. Let's get it its first go. Probably catch Legionella or something after this when it's running. Am I going under? I'll go under. Oh. <laughs> That's about all we're getting because I'm too big for that shower. This villa was 60 million for the full month. Now, I must be honest, I didn't spend 60 million on it. Well, I did spend 60 million on it, but not in pounds, in uh, Indonesian rupees. So, that's how much the villa was. If you want to go work out how much that is in UK money, comment, leave a comment, and I'll tell you if you're correct or not. So that was my crib in Bali. Thanks for coming and watching. Now it's time for you to get the fuck out. Bye.